I don't know about you, but after a hard day's work, I love coming home and finding some parcels waiting for me, especially when I know these parcels contain toys. One of these parcels I bought during last week, and the other one I bought only on the weekend, and it's already arrived. So without further ado, let's open some mail. Hi, I'm Chris of Tommy Toothpaste Toys, and welcome to another Mail Day video. Okay, so let's get this show on the road, because I am super excited about these. Right, the first one, well, let's do this big one first. Um, I've already cut them open and everything, just so it's easier for the video. Right, let's get this bad boy out. Now, this is quite a big item that um, I've been looking to get, part of the 2007 line. And it looks awesome already from what I can see. Um, the 2007 CGI line that everyone knows I collect and looking after. And there's the guy who I bought from right at the end of last year and I bought the amazing rare Bigfoot figure. Um, he messaged me over Facebook and um, said he's got a few more items up on eBay. We've done a deal with one of them because I really wanted it. And I've got this awesome item. I thought it would take me a long while to get these because they're absolutely massive, but it's pretty cool. Let's pull this guy out. It is, let's get rid of the box and bowl wrap, the massive Michelangelo shell shifter. It's missing its rockets and its two big arm grapple things, but that is cool. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it is a beast. Absolute quality. Look at the detail on this guy. There are four of these. There's obviously Michelangelo and all the, all the four brothers. Um, and they've all got different sort of colour schemes and styles. And obviously his one is a bit more bright and wacky. And he looks great. And actually that Michelangelo is in really nice condition by the looks of it. Really nice. Feels quite stiff as well. Hmm. He's cool. Really cool. And he's actually a different variant. Um, I've already got this one in the one right at the back of my shelf, which is got the big mask on from the parties that he goes to. Um, but it's nice to have another one with this one. This item looks super, super banging. And yes, it does articulate. It's cool, and um, with a bit of luck, let's see if this works. Um, I know these are quite loud, so I will stop talking just for a second while I put this on, but let's see. That is cool. Ooh, let's move him this way so you can see him go across. Whoa. He is cool. Really cool. That uh, is pretty awesome. And I know it articulates like this and turns into some sort of, it's almost like a sort of, oh, I think it goes like that. Let's see if this still works. Yes, it does. That's awesome. That is really cool. Love this guy. Looks pretty cool. And he's going to look quality on my shelves. That is the back of it. And yeah, there is two missiles that normally project. And there's the button here to press them. And there's two big sort of like pincer sort of arms that come off it. I'm not sure if they move or anything like that. But really nice looking item. Right, let's get on to the next one. Now this one I am really excited about. Um, so again, it's from this same line because I'm really on the hunt for it this year. Um, even more so than last year, trying to get some of the really harder items and loads of accessories that I need to get. Um, this one is one of the harder figures to get. It doesn't, this character doesn't feature in the film apart from a still right at the beginning on the opening credits. 
he is not in it. The plan originally was for him to be in the sequel because there was actually a trilogy planned and written written out, storyboarded. They never came came to fruition, which was a massive shame because I can guarantee this story arc would have been awesome. Especially the fact that they had so much confidence in it that they didn't even put it into this character into the first film. Um, and plus, I love the way they've done this film with the relationships and the characters and setting up the story. Um, this character is Shredder, and even more amazing, I got him complete with all accessories. And it was priced on eBay for 30 quid on the weekend. And I got notified straight away because I got all my notifications set up. And I was looking at it, I was like, I'm in an hour, and I was like, what am I going to do? Um, I watched it for a bit, and I thought, maybe I'll wait till payday. And I thought, you know what, it had best offer on there. So I thought I'd try 18 quid as an offer, which is really good for this figure because um, he's one of the harder ones to get because he wasn't in the film and it came out later on um, in the toy line on the second wave. The person counter countered with £22, and I was like, that's still brilliant. So I thought, I'll try 20 and they accepted. So 20 quid and it's Shredder from the 2007 CGI line with all accessories. Let's open this bad boy up. Ooh. This is how it looks like, it's nicely packaged. Kudos to you mate, let's get rid of this. Let's try and wrestle with this thing. Might have to do a little magic cut here. Right. Oh, he looks good. He looks really, really good. Oh wow. I'm really excited to have this guy. Check this guy out. I mean, he is an amazing looking figure. One of my favourite variations of Shredder as well. He just looks so cool. Really does. He's got his cape on. He's also got his belt round here. That is... Awesome. I love the fact that he's got all these accessories as well. Let's have a little look. Oh, nice. Really nice. Really good condition as well. There's the helmet. There's one of his swords. It's like a futuristic looking sword. There's one of the more sort of classic swords, and I like the way they have the banding here now. A bit more sharper, a bit more edgier. His big spear, which is, these are in really good condition. Really cool looking weapon. And this epic shield. This, I mean, can you just imagine this in a CGI movie? I can just imagine this guy would have been awesome. They would have really done it justice. Right, let's get some of these accessories on him. Let's see how he looks. Wow. I mean, is he not epic looking or what? Really epic. Let's give him... What should I give him? I think... Yeah, we'll give him the spear. Let's get rid of this. I mean, is that not cool? Is this guy not awesome? Really solid look, 
standing as well. He is cool. Really cool. So chuffed with this guy. I can't believe the condition. He might be one of my nicest figures, actually. Really good condition. Proper awesome. I mean, I'll take some high risk photos so you can see, but really quality looking. I love the way they have this long flowing cape. I mean, it's just just thrown over his shoulder. And with the foot badge over the top. It's cool. Really cool. Really am happy with that. Let's quickly, just for some kicks, see what he looks like with a blade in his hands. Looks pretty cool to me. That looks really cool. Really smart. I hope I'm not saying cool too many times, but I am astounded at how nice this figure looks. He is one of the, definitely one of the better figures in this toy line. So sharp looking, pardon the pun, you know, like loads of the detailing on him. Really quality, top, top quality figure. So there's the two items. I am super happy with those. Um, great, great items that I got and continuing as I mean to go on in 2021 to collect as much of this toy line as possible. Even maybe, dare I say it, getting to the point where it's finished. Um, it's going to be a toughie, but be a great challenge that I'm willing to try and do. So as always, please like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Hit, don't forget to hit that notification button. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and on eBay, Tommy Toothpaste Toys. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. You are every bit the warriors I was informed you were. You have passed. Savor your victory tonight. For soon, we will have further business together. The kind that involves familiar faces from your past. She doesn't mean.